today we're working on a 2006 Pontiac Grand Prix air conditioning system it's about 90 degrees a day the compressor does kick on the fans do work but it just blows hot air I've got my manifold gauge set up here my low side connection and my high side connection down in here if you can see that I'll fire it up and show you what I have. Here's my pressures running. Low side about 29. High side it's about 125. So we are running low. I'll show you uh, 1500 RPMs. Compressor is kicked on. And both fans are working here. Oh, about 1500 RPMs. We have a vent temp, if you can see that, of about 105 coming out of the vents. What we're going to do is we're going to add uh, about 12 ounces of refrigerant from a bulk tank. I'll show you how to do that and see what we come up with. Here is my bulk tank setup. I'm going to be charging with a gas. I've got a refrigerant scale. I think I purchased this off of eBay four or five years ago for about $60. And these tanks, today's price, I saw one at Sam's Club go for $80. So $80 for 30 pounds. Turn my gas on. At this point, both the high side and low side are closed off. I'm going to be charging from the low side only as a gas. And tear my scale. I'm going to bleed this here. Get all the air out. And I'm going to start to charge. Open up the low side, blue only, for 1500 RPMs. And hopefully, this goes to the gas. see it start to go negative that's a good sign the tank is getting lighter because the R134 is going into the system you can charge as a liquid I have done that in the past uh, I was taught when I went to school that's a bad thing it can suck the compressor with that liquid uh, refrigerant and ca cause issues with that so it's best to charge with a gas when the system is on when the system's off you can charge it with a liquid let it stabilize uh, turn off your liquid and then start from there I'll show you when this gets really close okay system about 12 ounces in there or so see this this is my pressure chart book I'll reference that shortly here's my pressures as you can see high sides a lot higher about 300 we're at 2,000 rpms ambient temperature about 90 degrees I'm sorry evaporator I'm sorry our condenser it's running about 130 some odd degrees. I'll show you inside temperature here in a second. We're still about 2,000 RPM. AC is on. We have a vent temperature of 40 degrees. We'll let this thing idle. And 
and put it in gear. And it may come up a little bit. I'll show you pressures with it idling. Here's my pressures idling about 31, 32 and close to 300, 275. These systems have a sticker on them that tells you exactly how much charge you put in there. Ideally, I would use a charging station, evacuate the whole entire system, put a vacuum on it, and precisely charge the system to what the system recommends. The only issue with that is I only have like four or five hundred dollars with the AC tools. I don't have the whole entire setup. So it's, the system works, but show you what I have. I've got a gauge set, maybe about $100 or less. I've got a vacuum pump for vacuuming down the system. My scale. Obviously my source. That's my whole setup. There's also a recovery system you can purchase. About four or $500 to recover the systems. I have I send out and the system's recovered beforehand. Any kind of engine repairs or if I have to pull the engine and disconnect the lines, the system is recovered first. That's it. Feel free to comment. One last thing. If your system needs a charge, it's got a leak somewhere. Uh, when I pulled off the high side low side valves on these, I always check for bubbling. As you can see, this is bubbling which means there might be a small leak there. I'm gonna tighten it up with my Schrader valve tool and hopefully that fixes that. Just kind of snug it up with hair. And I don't see any more bubbling in there, which is fixed. All right, one last final comment. If you do not have one of these scales, uh, EC charging scale, I would highly recommend not using a bulk tank. You can severely overcharge your system, which can create serious problems. If you don't have this scale, use the cans.